so good to say. I want to give you an award. I need, I need. I feel like I need to give you an outfit award or something for like the best on like head to toe that's ever walked into the store. You walked in and it, everybody was like, oh, you look incredible. Well, thank incredible. you. You have, okay, so you have a wine. You yes. have a wine. Mm -hmm. You have, you're a singer. Yeah. You have a hookah line. Yeah, hookah line. Like, I want to be friends with you. I'm just putting it out there because it's everything that you have is kind of like all about enjoying life and having a good, exactly. having a good life. You know, it's just a weird um, you keep set. Life I have a very, yeah, different well, life. Well, speaking of that, in the film Baggage Claim, the, mom, the woman that plays the mom in the movie, she sort of has this old fashioned view about, yes. you know, women and says, you're not a woman until you're married and have babies. <laughs> How do you feel about that state? I mean, it's a very. I mean, sort of you're old not a woman until you've married. You've been married and and have children. You know, I will admit, I feel like I turned into a woman when I got married and had a baby. But the real part of becoming a woman is really just years and years of learning your lessons and and, and gaining wisdom. Okay, so as it relates to the film, give me your wisdom. Is meeting a guy in a plane a good idea or not? Is that like traveling a good oh, place to meet a guy? It would be great. Yeah, I think it would be a great place to meet a guy because it's just um, unexpected, you know? And I've had some great conversations on planes with people that I was, you know, So you're a talker on the plane, you're not the person that's well, like Well, it depends, if yes. it's like one of those annoying people <laughs> with stinky breath that just talks too much, <laughs> that doesn't work for me. So you're adorable in this film. Oh, thank you. I, well, what can, I, what can I say about her? There's more than meets the eye with her. Yes, there's definitely more than meets the eye. Um, Taylor is, uh, she's spunky. She's a little bubbly, kind of airheaded. But I feel like across the board, this cast is so strong. Yeah. And start to end, it's so entertaining. It's so incredible. What sort of for you, what was the what was the initial draw? I think what drew me to the film, of course, Paula Patton. But I yeah. really wanted to do like an ensemble cast kind of film. Yeah. And I, I really haven't done that at all. So this was my first foray into that and it was a fantastic cast to be a part of. It was incredible. Yeah. And we have well, we have a little game for you. Okay. It's sort of it's inspired by the film. So the first part of it is you can either tell me this can fly when you're dating <laughs> a guy or too much baggage. Okay, this okay. Will fly for too, or too much baggage. baggage, yes. Okay. okay, and this is from the film. A man who you go to his house and he has like on his big screen TV a slideshow playing of pictures of just himself. This can fly or too much baggage? Too much baggage. <laughs> no way. I can't stand when a guy looks himself in the mirror too much. It's just weird to me. Okay, this can fly or too much baggage. A man who has a teeny tiny teacup dog. <laughs> <laughs> that can fly. It's weird, but it's so cute. If he's that, that means he must have like a heart because not all guys are into dogs in the first place. Right. So the fact that you have a little dog and that's what you decided to choose to go with, there's something kind of cute about it. It's a little weird and odd, but it's convenient. <laughs> little dogs are very convenient. This can fly or too much baggage. A man who orders for you at a restaurant down to your drink. Um, hmm. Let's say it's a first date. Oh. <laughs> I love no. that I threw that in there and you just hear the whole thing. No, just yeah. Not good? No, 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 no. What does it leave the baggage? Like too much baggage? Too much baggage. Too much baggage. That's just weird. First date for you to just do that. Okay, so the second part of the game is the traveling portion of the of it. Okay, so which between the two would be worse? The person that gets on a plane and brings their like tuna fish sandwich in like a Tupperware opens up and stinks out the whole plane, <laughs> or the person next to you on the plane that falls asleep and passes gas through the whole flight. Oh man, I could deal with tuna fish because you know it's a tuna fish sandwich. <laughs> but the guy that's passing gas on the plane, I probably do that before too. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> I'm a lady, <laughs> but. That is pretty gross when somebody does. But the, what's worse is he's probably faking like he's sleeping. Yes. And he's just passing gas and not caring about anybody else on the plane. I love that we say he I've seen too. that before. Yeah. He. Have you ever called anybody out on that? Oh, I said something. I'd be like, really? oh my gosh, what is that smell? And I'll be loud enough so I know. Because you could smell in the direction of where it's you coming from. You know where it's coming from. It's like a this way, <laughs> this way, this way. <laughs> Maybe behind you coming up. <laughs> you know where it's coming from. So you kind of got to make them embarrassed a little of what they've done. Like you just couldn't get up and go to the bathroom. <laughs> right. You thought it was right. going to be like silent but not deadly. <laughs> and you have to fly later. I love this. Yeah. If this happens later, you're going to be you're going to be thinking about it. Okay, which is worse? Armrest hogs? People that hog the armrest uh. or the person that's watching their movie and laughing loudly throughout when it's like an overnight flight and you're trying to sleep. Armrest hogs because I'm probably the one that's up laughing at a movie. <laughs> I'm usually up, I can't sleep anyway, so it's okay. And when I do fall asleep, I'm knocked out. 
armor's hogs are the worst because it's like you're trying to figure out who's gonna get the space, who's gonna get you the are, space, yes. but they've already claimed the space. <laughs> and you're trying to figure out if you go behind or up front or just stay here, but you don't really want to touch them. It's just kind of weird and gross. So like, I don't know, you don't know them. To so just be like, I, I know it's just elbows, but it's just weird. It's just as soon as you touch, it's like, oh, you Yeah, it's like, I, I don't know. want to feel the hairs on your arms. <laughs> Our, they don't go together. Like we don't know each other. <laughs> so armrest hogs I got to it. go. I love Who it. Who on you? We, that was fit. Those were fantastic answers. So, album. I know you're working on new music. Yes, yes, yes. yes what yes, can yes, you yes. tease? Um, I've actually been in Atlanta for three weeks working with some fantastic producers. Um, everyone from Polo to Kalina of Dirty Money. Um, and we've got some great material actually. Um, I have some. Oh man, I can't even say anything yet. Oh, tell us something. But I know. I have some things that are confidential that are going to come soon, which I'm excited about. You'll hear about that soon. But the music will be coming with that. And your song, it's Little Wayne. It's little yeah, Little Wayne. It's Young Money. So, yes. yep. I'm about to see them this weekend. We have a bottle signing in Houston, so I'm going to go do a bottle signing tomorrow. And then they have a concert, so I'm going to go see the guys. I have a little bit of stage. life envy after this interview. You're really? awesome. Thank you for coming in. <laughs> Great film. Thank you. Can't wait for the next for the music to yeah, come Yeah, yes, too. yes. We'll be talking about that soon. Yes, I can't wait to see what you wear next time you come in here. <laughs> <laughs> well, you look hot. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. Bye, guys.